more videos out here. What we've got going right now is a lot of rain coming in. It's winter time. Steelhead are coming in and they are chomping on those salmon eggs. And check out my egg cure video. It kind of explains why I like the steelhead this time of year. I mean, it's in the kind of in the beginning of the winter run, so it's going to be exciting. But to get started and kind of get into this quick, it's going to be kind of a longer video. We've got two documents here we're going to look at. One of them is my uh, tip on what is going on with the barometric pressure and a chart that kind of helps you see what the pattern is and when the best time for fishing is. Okay, let's move on over here. So over here we've got the Seattle Tacoma International weather for this would be like for the Green River I think I have it set for Toledo for the Cowets this is the website you're gonna to go to I've got another video go check it out it won't be as long as too long to add to this video of how to get to this page and get this chart pulled up right now I'm going to show you how to use the chart um, getting to it and making a link like this on your phone and on here now what this is is a three-day chart so it goes back three days. So today is December 9th, 9.53 p.m. Well, it's 10.09 technically. But you can see how close in between these reports are. Okay, so this is going to go back three days. It's the 9th. I'm going to scroll down. 8, 7. And we're talking a lot of information here so you can really get a trend on this barometric pressure if it's falling or rising or how much or how fast you scroll over here you've got your humidity your temperature um, and what it's doing for rain so this is important to watch because it just started raining right here around three four o'clock a little bit came in here but before that it hadn't been raining at all Okay, so you're going to notice the trend and what people talk about when this rain comes in, you're going to watch this barometric pressure drop. All right, so what we have over here is your barometric pressure. There's two of them. I usually just stick to the one on the left. The numbers are going to change, so it's going to match this chart either way. It might be off a little bit one way or the other, but the whole concept is exactly the same. So going on the station pressure right here, it's at 28.93 right now, currently. Well, earlier today, I actually haven't seen it go down this low. If you even look at my chart, 29.6 is low pressure. It's really low right now. So it's 28.9 and it was 29 at five o'clock. So it's, it's gone down you know, quite a bit here. Now let me show you what it was when it started to rain. 12 a.m. it started raining. It was at 29.4. And now it's down to 28.9. So if it's been steady, which it hasn't, it's been on the move. It's been 29. So on the 7th, it was 29.5. On the 6th, it was 29.7, no rain, a little bit, so it was somewhat steady for 24 hours. So when it started dropping yesterday, from that 29.7, 29.6, and you start getting into this rain right here, you see it going from 29.5, 6 and 7, and it starts climbing down pretty quick with that rain in here. 4, 7, back to 5. Now the rain's gone and it's back to about 29.5 now here we are today the rain's coming back in but it's a big storm coming in watch it drop now that the big storm is in and look at how quick it dropped so if you're out there fishing in this chunk right now those fish might be getting on a last minute strike and then going lethargic again once it settles down um, so you can even see the clouds over here at center of the red. So it's pretty cloudy and orange and then, you know, goes back and forth, goes back to a few clouds. You can follow that trend. There you go.
So let's go over to this chart. Let me explain that all salmonoid species are salmon, trout, steelhead type of fish are affected by barometric pressure. So due to the pressure building up or lifting on or off their air bladders, it makes them change what they're doing. So let me explain. It makes them feel lethargic and air bladders like your chest and your lungs. If you don't have any air, you feel tired. If you're at the end of a long run, you're tired. You don't feel like doing anything but sitting down. That's what the fish feel. So they will go to the bottom of the river and sit at the lowest spot they can and hug that bottom where the current's the least. They'll go behind rocks, trees, logs, up against the shoreline to hide from that heavy strength of water because they're tired. They're not going to strike at stuff and they're going to let stuff go by them and just move their heads. So you have to get creative. You got to piss them off. You got to use uh, gear and lures that rattle and stuff like that. And I'm going to make a video of how to fish for them in the barometric pressure. Me and some of my followers already did a video and it turned out great. So that'll be posting soon. So here's the question. When is the best time to fish, right? For when the barometric pressure is falling or rising. So the answer to that is after it's been stable for about 24 hours, this is what I've noticed and other people too I've confirmed with. If it's been around 29.9 and 30 to 30, 0.9 for about 24 hours the pressure starts rapidly falling when a storm comes in when this happens the fish go nuts like bears going into hibernation and they start eating everything in sight this is your kill time this is the best time um, this is when they're going to get really aggressive and start feeding and smacking everything that's why there's a lot of stories about right when the storm came in we started catching all these fish it's just a fact of life because of that air bladder so um, if you didn't know why that's why it affects them um, it really helps you figure this out so i've come up with a chart to match this chart over here for you i've used it for a long time now i've got it pretty much memorized so i can go through it pretty easy in my head and then just watch this and then know what i'm going to fish with when i get there whether i'm going to throw cheaters on bobber and eggs or and all that gear over there I might whip out some of my um, rattle plugs and stuff like that. So here you go. Um, this part of the chart, so when you're high pressure, which is 30.5 and up, this is what I consider high, clear skies with steady pressure for about 24 hours. So if it's no clouds in the sky, it's looking great outside. The fishing is going to be kind of medium to slow, not like it is going to be when it's falling. So. Um, when you go out and you're fishing on a hot sunny day, it seems like it was great, but then you have these epic days that are always kind of not like in the middle of that. It's not always going to be like that, but for the most part, this is how we look at the high pressure. And at that point, you're just going to kind of want to fish the edges of the river, the deeper water, and, and places like that if they're not traveling in the traveling lanes um, in the rivers. So when you get down to the medium pressure and it starts to fall from 30.5 down to 29.7 and 30.40, mostly around 30.40, then you start dropping down from here to here. That's when you're really going to be jumping down to your best um, pressure. They're really going to go nuts when it's been steady and clear and just average fishing they're really gonna go nuts and start coming down and smacking everything they can. So that's when you can, you know, really go for it. When it's on the move, it's actually falling. So it's in between here. This is the important part people miss. If it's steady for now, it stops, okay? Fishing is gonna now stop doing this, being crazy and fun, and it's gonna go back to this at medium pressure it's going to stop there and go steady for 24 hours it's going to go back to normal fishing it's fair weather with steady pressure for 24 hours it's going to go back to normal fishing we'll say that again and again and again that's when you can kind of start testing gear and lures and baits and do different techniques to see what works try the fish uh traveling lanes you know because they're going to kind of start moving around a little bit more after it's settled down at this pressure again. So now another storm front comes in, like it did today. One came in, 
uh, a week ago and it dropped it down from 30 down to your 29.7 and 29.5 which stayed steady for a couple of days and then all of a sudden tonight look at the light rain on December 8th let's skip down here I'm sorry December 8th it came down to you know their 29.4 it came down one step on December 8th okay December 8th it drops down to 29.4 December 7th and 6th when it was nice and, and a little bit more clear a little bit cloudy see the red it was cloudy but not raining it was 29.7 so as soon as some rain came in with these clouds, it went from 29.7 down to 29.4 and 5 and just hung there. Light rain with orange clouds, less clouds, not as cloudy. Now we get in December 8th and it drops down into 29.4s with heavy clouds, heavier clouds in the red and light rain at the same time. And that brings us down into the 4s, but only temporarily. See that clears up on December 8th and it goes through and then we got this clear spot right here. Now we're on December 9th. Less cloudy this morning, light rain, but look at it start dropping. It went from 29.4. See the trend here in this little gap this morning from 11 in the morning at 29.4 and it just shoots down to 29.0 all the way down to 28 currently and you can see over all those other days it never dropped that fast did it right so this would have been one of those times where those fish out there would have been going nuts even though it's dark and nighttime if it was a daytime fishery you could have really you know got into quite a bit of fish right in here five o'clock at night december 9th when it started you know dropping down like this so here's why again they're going to eat like bears and try and fatten up their fat content because they don't know how long this pressure is going to be changing and they panic and before they get tired and feel nauseous or out of breath they start eating a lot and smacking everything they can and it's when it's on the in between and it's dropping okay so when it hits these it's this chart when it hits the high pressure it's going to be like this when it's steady at this when it hits this it'll be steady at this hits this it's steady at this so you have to really take what i'm saying and look at the whole thing so it's going to be like this when it's steady like this for 24 hours as each one is going to be this way it's going to be like this when it's in between and dropping okay it puts the fish into a panic because they're going out of breath right it makes sense when you understand the air bladder and the salmonoid fish it affects bass too so bass fishermen you know i've seen a few youtube videos and some of them know what they're talking about they understand it but they don't make any changes for it and if you don't make changes you're not going to catch more fish watch my next video it's going to be really important I'm going to have one that's going to teach you how to load this up and find that chart because it's really hard to find this chart. It took me quite a while to find it. Um, here is a close-up. If you can find it, go for it. If not, watch my short video I'll make for it, as well as a video of what to do and what to fish with during each one of these times because as it gets in between, you can fish with just about anything. When it hits these middle sections where it's steady in a certain pressure, I switch up my gear and we catch fish here, 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 and here. We are adjusting and tuning all the time. And I've got videos with my YouTube friends and Facebook followers. And we caught a lot of fish and had a lot of fun. So stay tuned. Like, follow, and share. And the biggest thing is I'm getting complaints. People are, are not getting notified when they subscribe because you have to hit the notification button. So please get hit the notification button so you can get notified of these videos. This winter I'm going to be putting tons of them out, a lot of detailed stuff so that it hopefully helps you when the season starts next year. Or if you're steelhead fishing now, this is the time in Washington, guys, and the Northwest in particular this time of year 
this chart is golden for you to have your gear ready when you go out. All right, this has been Fishing Tips from Steve Purdue. Catch you later and good luck. Catch a fish.